All right, so to begin, to begin, I'll probably st start out the same way I started the other one, and I'll just draw out the pro the the equation, the problem. My goodness, this do this one doesn't require any pentagons. So that's the beginning, and I'm just gonna go through it like I would, um, like I did the other one. And I'm going to draw the product like at the end and everything. So the reaction that I'm doing is the reaction of a ketone with ethanol to form an, uh, an acetyl ketal formation. I practiced it just a little bit. Okay, so the mechanism. So first the catalyst H plus uh, protonates, uh, pro protonates um, the carbonyl oxygen right here. So I guess I'll just draw the right here. And this right here is a C as a, as a carbon. So, okay, so H plus making the carbonyl carbon more electrophilic. So um, do, do. I'm just going to draw the C there because that's going to make it easier for me to draw. And because this one over here, it lost, so it gained. Um, so I guess I'll draw a little red circle around that. And again, this is Tina the Tiger and Gingy. They're just there moral support. So next, next we have this, and this is a, this is going to be the second step. The ETOH undergoes a nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl, which produces a protonated um, acetyl, semi-acetyl, hemi, hemi-acetyl, um, an acetyl. So, um, I guess I'll just draw an arrow down. So basically, I, was, I guess I'll just draw this again here. The C and the O and the, doo -doo, the plus H. Okay, so then we're gonna put in the ET and the O and the H. And the, it's just like separated. We're going to put in the lone pairs. So then this, okay, I'll just draw it like this. It's, it's a process. We'll just draw this again. C, E, O. Oh, and this um, is going to go here, like uh, this double bond. One of the double bonds is going to go here, so that way we have two pairs of electrons and then we're still gonna have dude and then so now we have the ETOH formed and we're bonded all together and this is gonna have a plus plus sign or plus charge positive one charge so then, the deprotonation by the water uh, will form the hemiacetyl. Um, so we have this right here. So now I'm going to use red because I feel like that'll be a good like change so I don't have to keep drawing everything over. So this is going to transfer that and then we're gonna have to draw in the H2O so I guess I'll just draw it in now so we draw that in so now what it looks like is I'm gonna go back to blue because now I'm done drawing that um, so we're gonna draw this and it's still almost gonna look probably the same, like kind of the same, but not really. 
I put in the long pairs, and the, uh, the hydrogen, but now it's going to be plus H3O plus because that's what happened like that the this right here is H3O plus so we just added that to the side and it's still we still have the oxygen right here and the ET um, and then the fourth step uh, the OH group of the hemiacetal is uh, protonated by the H3O plus. So again, we're just going to go in with this red, so that way I can just um, do it here. So I'm going to move this lone pair over here with the H3O plus, which we're going to now move up here. So we're just going to draw it out. And this is going to have a plus. So from there, um, we're going to switch back to blue. And then, uh, so basically, uh, in order to, be, like, to become protonated, then we're going to have the same setup again. But now, since we got rid of one of the H's and we moved it up here with this oxygen, we're just going to have a plus H2O over here. So then we're just going to have the O. And it's going to be a plus because, you know, if you lose, you gain. It's a weird way, but I think I remember that. Um, we're going to keep the O and the ET over here with the lone pairs. And then, uh, number five, um, the lone pair electron on the oxygen of the uh, O, uh, O, R, um, like the C double O, we'll, we'll go to the C double O, or C double bonded O bond causing the elimination of the H2O producing an oxy. Ox, oxo, oxonium ion, oxonium, ox, an O ion. So basically, we're gonna go in with the red again, and we're gonna move that there, and then we're gonna move um, this lone pair. This is like the R R group here. We're gonna move that there. So then, um, what basically happens? is then we have this formed basically i just flipped it around so it'd be easier to read and stuff so you know we still have the et here and the lone pair and now we we still have that because that that's right there okay so then the sixth step is that the second ETOH undergoes a nucleophilic addition to the ox oxnium, uh, the O ion, um, producing a protonated acid acetyl. Um, so we're gonna go with the red again. So we have this. Um, but now we're going to add the second one. And we're just putting them in pairs, and that's going to go right there. So then the second part. So it's basically just all going to look like this, except there's going to be, instead of this lone pair right here, it's going to be a bond to this C. So then then this would become a plus. Um, and then the last and final step would be of this would be the deprotonation by the H2O. We don't forget about them. Uh, creating the product um, acetyl. Okay, so we're gonna form it up right here because I'm running out of space. So from all of this, 
Now we're gonna add, we're gonna go in with a different color. We're gonna go in with green so we don't get confused. So then there's this right here where we just added a new bond, but now we're gonna go, we're gonna put the H2O there. Um, H, O, H. I drew it a little funky, but still get the concept. So now we're gonna go back to our original color. Oops, I didn't even draw an H. Um, we're gonna go to our original color blue, and we're gonna draw draw it since there's a lot of color right here. So still gonna put that C there because it's easier to read that way. Have the ET, the first one there. And we're gonna have the O because that's what the water went. That's what the water gave us, and. We're gonna have the lone pairs and a second ET. And we're gonna draw that. And we have the plus H3O plus because we got rid of an H. Um, both H's there actually. And then to make it look prettier, we're gonna draw it again as the product. And we're going to put it in these nice little red brackets so we know the final end product. So basically we don't really need to draw in like the ETs. We just draw those in with like, you know, um, I'll just draw it out so it looks, so you can see what it looks like. So like this is the ET here. Um, Oh. All right, and this is the end. This is the end product. So we did all that, and that created the end product.